Welcome! In this session we will calculate the probabilities of retention, classify the observations in the testing dataset and build the confusion matrix. And all of this using uh, the package R part. So first let's calculate the probabilities of retention. So we are going to create the variable prob probabilities dot r part which will be equal to the function predict and we are going to use three parameters the first one will be the prana tree that we just created in the last session the second one we are going to tell uh, uh, r which data set is going to be used to calculate the probabilities and it will be in the data set testing and third the type which will be the probability prob we press enter and now we can go to our global environment variables and look for this prob r part let me see where it is here it is we can double click and we can observe a table uh, with two columns uh, the column 0 and the column 1 the column 0 is the probability of not retention the, and the column 1 is the probability of retention so the probability that the, that this group will uh, return for the next year and get a program of from edu -Trable. so now let's make the classification tree uh, using these probabilities first let's create a vector of 40.77 ones and why for 477 ones because that's the number of observations in the testing data set as you can see here the testing data set has 477 observation so let's create the vector of ones uh, and the name that we're going to use for this vector is classification classification dot r part and this will be equal to the uh, function repeat rep open parenthesis I want you to repeat uh, 477 once press enter and now you can see here the classification R part which is a character and it has uh, 477 ones now let's uh, assign the zeros to those observations less than the cutoff value and as you can remember we defined the cutoff value uh, as 0 0.607 which was the average uh, of the training data set not the training data set but from all the data set the combining data set the one that included the training and the testing that one the one before uh, partitioning the data sets as uh, the same number that we use it for the c3 classification so let's let's assign the zeros in our classification r part so we are going to write classification r part the vector of ones that we just created and to this vector of ones we are going to uh, select those uh, sorry we are going to select those which have a probability uh, of retention less than the cutoff value so where are the probabilities of retention in the uh, vector pro r part that we calculated and as you can remember that vector had uh, that uh, table had two columns and in the first one were the probabilities of not retention the zeros and in the second column were the probabilities of retention so we're going to open another square uh, bracket and we're going to tell get me all the rows from the second column and select those that are uh, less than the cutoff value of 0 0.0607 and to those values assign a zero we press enter and now we can see the classification R part, uh, which is a, a vector of ones and zeros, as you can see it here. Now let's uh, convert this vector, which is a character, to a factor. 
to build the confusion, confusion matrix. And why do we have to do this, uh, this conversion to be consistent? Because we are going to compare characters, with, uh, sorry, factors with factors. We are going to compare this um, classification that we did with the real values that we know and that we have in the variable retained in 2020. So let's convert this uh, classification R part to a factor. We're going to write classification dot R part equal in the function as factor. And we are going to write the name of the same variable classification dot R part. And now you can observe now it is a character when I press enter it gets to a factor. Now it is a factor. So now let's elaborate the confusion matrix. We are going to write confusion dot matrix and we need uh, three parameters. The first one will be the classification that we did. So we need these uh, factors that we predicted. So we are going to write classification dot R part. The second parameter will be the real data. So we are going to write the testing data set and from this we want the dependent variable retained in 2020. And finally, we are going to tell R which one are the positive cases, which are the cases or the observations that we are going to retain and those are the ones that have a one. So we press enter and we can observe here the accuracy of the model that is 0 0.81. We can see uh, the true negative cases, 131, the true positive cases, 256, the false uh, positives, or the false negative, sorry, and the false positive, 56. We can see the sensitivity, it's 0 0.88, and the specificity, 0 0.70. Just to compare the accuracy of this R part model with the accuracy of the C3 model, let's recall the confusion matrix for the C3. I'm not going to write it, just to run it. So let's remember this number, 0 0.81. And when I run the C3, it was 0 0.8197. They are quite similar. In fact, I think the C3, it's a little, it's, it's better, but just for a little. We are, uh, for, for our part it was 81.13 and for C3 is a little higher, 81.97. In the next session, we will compare these models using the ROC and AUC. Thanks for watching.